Hello everyone, my name is Sweet Melody and I'm going to be doing, if you can see from the title, the Random Legacy Challenge. Um, I want to do this one because I thought it would be really exciting because it's very unpredictable. So yeah, I just don't like things to be the same. So anywho, I'm just going to jump right into Create a Sim and Make a Family and I'll be right back. Okay, um, so for my first sim, um, I have rolled single parent um, with two children. Um, so I'm going to start with one child and then I'm going to have the other child in game. Actually, <laughs> actually I'm going to adopt the child. But anyway, um, let's have a look at her. Her name is Maya Rose and um, she's actually supposed to be um, a rock star. Um, You'll see the rest of her clothing in game. Um, her traits are charismatic, irresistible, party animal, star quality, and virtuoso. I went with star quality because she also has to be a five star celebrity. So that'll be interesting. Um, these are her favorites. And her sign is Sagittarius. So we have her son here. This is Robert Rose. Dig, dig! And you'll hear <laughs> weird voice, but um, anyway, um, the first thing you notice is he's um, he's pretty intense looking, <laughs> but that'll be fine. He's actually, I think I'm gonna make him the heir of this thing, and if I do that, then he's gonna be in the military career. So I made him ambitious, athletic, and a genius. And these are his favorites, and you already heard his voice, and his astrological sign is a Capricorn. Okay, so let me go ahead and accept that. <laughs> <laughs> and edit relationships. Um, the first thing you might ask me um, is why it is the random legacy challenge. I did not randomize their traits. Well, that is because there's actually... A role in which um, you can go ahead and randomize it. You have to randomize it, rather. Um, so I thought, well, if, you, if we're going to have to eventually, then I might as well not do it right now. Anyway, you'll see that we're in Starlight Shores, if I didn't say that earlier, and I apologize for that. Um, and also, um, I do apologize about my microphone. I know it's pretty it's pretty rough, but <laughs> hopefully you'll bear with me, and I'll see be getting a new one in uh, maybe a week or two. So we're going to go ahead and look for a home. In this particular legacy, you're not bound to any random home, so I think that'll be fine. And you can also move whenever you like, um, which is I think is better than picking a giant lot and then trying to build on it, because my building skills are terrible absolutely terrible <laughs> i know how people say that their building skills are really terrible and they're no curtis parody or anything like that and then they wind up being really awesome but i'm actually not so we're gonna go and head with this one because i like it because it's right by the water so i think it would be nice so let's go ahead and jump in okay i'm back um basically this like i said this is the random legacy challenge and the overall gist of this is to go 10 generations well really 11 kind of but to go 10 generations and to complete all the goals that you roll for in each generation. Um, so I mentioned um, things about rolls. Uh, basically, there's a um, set number, like maybe 1 to 21, in which you'll roll through to see how somebody's life is going to go. So for Maya, um, she wrote single parent, um, two children, rock star, five star celebrity, a tattoo addict, and skilled for their generational goal. Now, what tattoo addict means is basically every week she has to go and get a new tattoo. So that'll be interesting. And also, um, as far as her age, that'll also be interesting because I happen to know that the tattoos actually roll back your age, which is not great, but we don't have to <laughs> live with her forever. Um, and also, they got skilled for the generation of generational goal. And what I think that means is that Right. Um, each of the ten heirs, they have to <clears throat> get to level ten, well, basically super max, um, a skill that's not related to their um, career, actually. And so that'll be interesting. Um, I haven't planned that out at all. I haven't really planned anything. I just kind of wanted to go with the flow, basically, when doing this. And, um, yeah. 
Okay, like it says, I'm going to have to put in some random narration here um, because my sound is... <laughs> basically, this, like I said, this microphone is really, really crappy. And so, um, actually all the sounds, even them talking right there, um, completely drowns me out. So, <laughs> probably for the first, maybe two or three episodes, I might not be able to have sound all the time um, <clears throat> inside the game. Anywho, um, I'm just setting some settings here on my um, Story Progressing mod, and I just want to get their day started. Um, what I'm going to do is go ahead and get her a job, so I'm sending her over to get a job in the music career, <clears throat> and um, I'm going to send him over to the park so maybe he can pick some wildflowers. Zoom back into them. Okay. Um, <laughs> I'm not really into these bike things. It's not bad because, I mean, it is healthy, I guess, and it's a good idea for little kids, but at the same time, when it's 9, 10 o'clock at night, and you're just trying to get them back home, and they're riding that bike in the dark, um, yeah, that's not really, that's not really safe. <laughs> but then again, this is The Sims, so, um, yeah, I guess that all that Stranger Danger stuff really doesn't happen. Um, here I was just reading, um, <clears throat> um, about her job and everything like that. Um, she makes $21 an hour, and I read that passage thing, and I kind of messed it up a little bit, but whatever. We're going ahead and accept that in a bit. <clears throat> okay, um, he's going now, and I'm also going to send her over to the park as well. Maybe we can meet some people and um, just kind of hang out, um, especially because we're looking for... Um, this celebrity to meet, and sorry if I keep saying, um, and basically, and actually, and I don't know why I even do that, <laughs> so I do apologize. So we see a couple of people here in the park, and there's this little kid over here doing a bake sale. I've never actually done this in-game, um, I don't know why, I guess I've just never really taken the time to do it, but, um, yeah, I'm <laughs> Maybe I'll do it eventually. And I was trying to see, I, I thought that she was talking to some random person, and I was like wondering how she got home. <laughs> but then I realized it was just a mascot. That's kind of annoying. Like, they can just show up really by themselves. You don't, they don't have to require you to come and look at them putting their little basket down. Especially because I'm not even planning on going to university in this LP. So, um, here she is getting to know some people, and, um... <clears throat> So, yeah, so it's basically she's a throw a party. She is a party animal, so we're probably throwing a lot of parties as much as I can, even though I'm not that great at doing those. <laughs> I'll do my best. And I was just looking at that guy because I, he was really buff, like overly buff. And that's just, yeah, not exactly my forte, um, but whatever. And here I'm just putting in some um, some of her witches. Go ahead and lock that in. I see he's here playing chess all by himself, which is good because he is, um, <clears throat> he does have the genius trait. And, um, as far as the roles for how his life is going to turn out, um, I have, I've already rolled them for both him and the new child that we're going to adopt later in the episode. Um, but I'll explain more about that when he becomes a young adult because that's when they really take effect. <clears throat> um, there are some roles that do happen while they're still children um but that's we didn't roll any of those so <laughs> if that does happen then i'll go ahead and let her know so we're just getting to know this chick i don't even remember her name to be honest and i can't really see it. um but oh i think it's mercedes may that's right and she's a singer actually and she's in this household where i think she moved in a friend or something or and they're both competing over the job and her boyfriend and all, lots of lots of drama for no reason at all <laughs> but yeah so I'm gonna go ahead and have go around and have him pick up some of these wildflowers so we can make some money because we are poor absolutely poor um I mean a thousand dollars is not bad um but I'm gonna ex uh, expend a lot of that later um when I'm trying to buy a burglar alarm of course and you know that's super expensive for no reason at all I think they just want you to get robbed <laughs> So cruel, EA. So cruel. Um, <clears throat> but no, yes, we need um some money so, um, so we can get a lot of things and maybe a renovation or, even better still, um, a new house because yeah, that house is not 
not ideal <laughs> for what I would like. <clears throat> as far as houses and moving and things like that, um, I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do. I might not even stay in Starlit Shores the entire LP. Uh, we might move around to a couple different towns just to make it fresh, or we might not. Um, I might just try to move around to all the different houses here. So basically just kind of get a lot of new places. Um, I'm definitely going to try to move or do something different every generation. So, you know, it doesn't get stale. I was um <laughs> looking at, he has insanely large ears <laughs> for no reason. They're kind of cute. And um, yeah, but it doesn't look like she's liking that too much and whatever he's talking about. Um, but I think they are attracted to each other. No, nonetheless, um, yeah, <laughs> um, yeah, and this. Oh, I guess because she has the irresistible trait. Um, all these people just kept coming up to her, wanting to. I don't know, just talk to her or accuse her of something or another. Um, that <clears throat> the irresistible trait is really, um, really interesting to me. I would say. <clears throat> um. Let's see, what's going on? Oh, <laughs> that's so cute. I really, really love the generations, um, what do you call those little actions or whatever, like the, um, going on a submarine adventure in the bathtub and, um, presiding over royal court, which I actually think he does a little later, um, if I'm not mistaken. But they're just so, so adorable. Um, I'm not exactly keen on raising babies and toddlers and things like that. They are insanely cute, but <laughs> I'm not, typically, I don't really mess with them too much until they become a teen. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm going to try to be a little bit more interactive and family friendly <laughs> in this LP though, because <clears throat> I don't want to just ignore them. That's, that's really rude. I mean, I don't ignore them to the point where they um, get taken away by social services or anything. That's never happened. Oh, that's just terrible. But anywho, um, I actually want them to take a picture, and um, so that's why I changed the outfit from out of that little helmet thing, because I really didn't want that in the picture. Uh, but I think <laughs> before we get a chance to take the picture, um, he's actually going to change into that royal court outfit or whatever with the crown and everything. So um, yeah, either way, he wants to be in costume for the picture, it looks like. So I'm going to send them over to Rodeo Gogo. I was contemplating um sending them to eat at um oh she went to slap her there which was really weird and for no reason I was like who does that just walks to somebody and slaps them but whatever anyway um actually people do do that <laughs> anyway um so getting back to them um yeah I was gonna send them over to V's Flying Coffee House and have them get some lunch but I realized neither one of them are really that hungry so. Yeah, we're just going to go here into Rodeo Gogo. -Go. Okay, honestly, there's not much to do generally in most of these venues. Eventually, I'm going to go through and, um, I guess, update all of these. And here we have a couple, um, Guinevere and Arthur Delacour. Um, they're actually sims that I created. Um, I was doing a sort of medieval Deca Dynasty sort of thing, um, yeah, so I had um, a really castle, uh, it was this, I think, a custom-created world um, where uh, everything was kind of, you know, <laughs> medieval, I guess. I can't even find the words for it. Excuse me, I'm being a little weird. Well, then again, I'm always weird. Anyway, I have her trying to get to know them because I knew that Guinevere is actually a three-star celebrity, and as both... Maya and Robert have to be five-star celebrities. Um, they obviously need to make friends with as many celebrities as possible, but I don't really know many celebrities in this town, and I didn't want to play in Bridgeport. Um, I didn't. So that's why I go, went ahead and popped Guinevere in to this town. And so I'm trying to impress her. I know that she, I put her in the military career, so she's going to be really into athletic interactions and things about the military, so I'm doing that now. And I'm also blocking <laughs> the flirty interaction between her and her husband. Um, so that's not great. Don't want to be one of those people. But uh, yeah, we really need to get this at least first star level on our own. And then we can just do opportunities or whatever <clears throat> to whatever. Um, I think it'd probably be, we'd probably make friends with her, though, because I think that's one of the fastest ways to gain celebrity star level. Um, yeah.
So I think I locked in that wish to become friends with her. I'm not sure. Oh, and here I was apologizing for pausing because I was trying really not hard not to do that. I don't think I did it too many times um, during play, during the playthrough. <clears throat> okay, so now she's a one-star celebrity, and we're gonna ha she's gonna want to text her boss. So we're gonna ahead and do that so we can get that wish out of the way, so we can lock in being friends with Guinevere. And we're locking that in there. See, there, there was he was presiding over the royal court. Um, and I wanted to send him up and to take a picture, so he's going to wind up in that costume anyway. <laughs> <clears throat> so they're going to go do that now. And he's talking to some random woman. I don't really know what's going on with that, but okay. I <clears throat> also want to upgrade menus. I like to make them really family-friendly, or basically in ways you can stay there all day. So having a food source, um, restroom, even a toddler and baby section would be nice because I really like to keep the whole family together. If we're going to have a family outing, then it needs to be the whole family. And um, babysitters are just the worst in this game. Absolutely the worst. Uh, they don't take care of your kids at all until they know you're about to come home. <laughs> then that's when they pretend like they're doing something. Okay, and they're both getting pretty hungry, so I'm sending them over to V's Flying Coffee House to do that, but I think she got stopped because, no, he got stopped. Um, Some guy was trying to talk to him about a house or a car. I, I really don't remember. Um, Here you can see some random people are popping up. Um, they're Somehow the co-workers that she has and even the schoolmates that he has just randomly pop up. I think that might be... And the result of one of my mods I have in place. Um, yeah, but either way, um, there's Chad Luck there and Isaac Luck, the Luck brothers. And they both work with me somehow. Um, it's kind of weird they both have the same profession. Not really. Maybe not. I don't know. Um, yes. Oh, he got sick from picking the wallflowers. Poor thing. I could take him to get a shot, but eh. If we're just starting out, we don't really have that much money, so I'm not really going to do that. Oh, and I was showing there, um, Chad Luck, the person I just looked up, he just walked into that building over there, which I think is the karaoke um, place. Um, so we're looking at some of the people that they have around this area. Um, there's nobody really here right now. Um, I'll try to, since we are in Starlet Shores, I'll try to go to a couple of um, SimFest and shows and things like that, just to give them a variety of things to do. And I'm probably going to plop in a few more um, venues to go to in the town so we don't just have just a really stale time. I'm going ahead and speed them up here so they can get out of here and um, I'm going to send them home because it's time to adopt our new child so she'll have her requirement of two children that she has to have in her household. Now also in this um, in this challenge you're not required to like the heir, it doesn't have to be born, you know, naturally born. So adopt, adopted children are just fine for um, <clears throat> for passing on your legacy to. Okay, and I definitely need to upgrade this house. I'm probably going to upgrade it a little, not so much upgrade the different appliances, but at least decorate it to better to my taste. Um, and then before the next episode, um, like I said, I'm not great at doing that. But um, <laughs> just kind of bear with me, and I guess you'll get to see my style or anything like that. Um, I'm going to have her first. I was going to have her immediately call for adoption, but I'm actually going to have her um, call to get rid of the newspaper first because I can't stand those things just piling up. And right now, we're not going to be able to afford a maid. So, yeah, go ahead and take care of some of his needs. Um, and now I'm going to have her call the social services. Is is that what you call it? <laughs> I think for uh, to get uh, the adoption done. <clears throat> Here's your knot. Do, 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 do. Okay. Looking for it, not finding it. There you go. So we're going to get our little girl hopefully today. Um, and there's that creepy ice cream truck. Oh my gosh. I, I think that's just the creepiest thing in the world. They just to sit outside your house. It reminds me of this goosebump. Oh, the, here I am buying that expensive. <laughs> uh, what do you call it? Burglar alarm. Um, but yes, it reminds me of this goosebump segment. Um, I saw and the little kid. I think he was kind of heavy set. 
um, went around trying to buy, I'm also buying a bunk bed because the two children are going to need somewhere to sleep. Okay, jumping back and forth between topics, I know, excuse me, I'm a little, sometimes I'm looking a little scatterbrained. Anyway, um, so, oh yeah, the Goosebumps segment, it really creeped me out. Um, it didn't, I guess most Goosebumps segments don't end happily, but I guess I, I love ha happily, happily, I don't know what I said. <laughs> but I guess I love happy endings. I'm a sucker for those. Um, so that did not end well at all. He he got stuck in that little van, that little ice cream truck. So yeah, I don't like the I don't like the little ice cream trucks. They kind of freak me out. Okay, so I wanted him to get to know some of his classmates a little bit, and maybe to find a find a potential spouse. I know I'm looking early, but whatever. Sometimes you gotta attack early because actually I have the story progression mod in. so late um are the adoption services are gonna come tonight hopefully they will <laughs> just when i'm talking uh, let's go ahead and adopt a child since we have a boy let's go ahead and get a girl um ooh, i hadn't thought about a name at all um let's see so we have maya and robert <laughs> i'm actually naming these sims off of people that i actually know in real life but um i'm just gonna pick something random Amy. <laughs> Just go alphabetically. Because <laughs> I don't really know what else to do. Okay. Um, get some time off. Take a Oh, <laughs> what? <laughs> we just started work. How are we going to get time off? Okay, whatever. What is she doing? Why is she not? Because they normally come and, like, give us a hug or something. <laughs> because she's like, oh, I don't want to do that. I don't have to eat. Seriously, where is she? Wow, okay, um, that is a glitch. I don't know where she is or what she's doing. Okay, I tell you what, I don't, she might have gotten stuck, so I'm going to go ahead and actually reset her really quickly. I'm not really sure what happened with that. Okay. Wow, dang glitches on the first video. Exciting. Okay. <laughs> There she is. Um, it's kind of late, so I'm going to go ahead and get them settled into bed already. Who's chatting and who's not chatting? Let's sleep. And he actually wants a top on. Good, because that's what you're going to get. <laughs> She's streaming video, but I want her to go ahead and use the restroom. Did she put the, those bottom salad away? Yes, she did. Okay, and I'll go ahead and send her to bed as well. And let's go ahead and pair them up. Through this. You know what? I'm going to put this. <laughs> Walls can really get on my nerves. Okay, um, yeah. So now that we have everyone in bed, I'm gonna go ahead and stop it. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna end the video here for today, and um, I'll probably post another one maybe next week or so. <clears throat> but yeah, um, thanks for watching, and I hope you're enjoying. And um, yeah, I'll try to make it more exciting or anything or make my commentary a little bit better. I'm just, I'm working on it. Like I said, it's my first video, so um, don't be too cruel. Um, <laughs> but anyway, like I said, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.